determined that the disk drive in my peripheral expansion box here is bad, <coughs> which sucks, because I have to change it. Um, I do have another PEB that I am disassembling at this point to remove the uh, disk drive from there. I'm going to try to swap it out and see if that fixes my problem. So this is a little bit of a documentation in case anybody wanted to see it. All right, the drive is now successfully removed from the peripheral expansion box. And there it is. And in looking at this box, this is actually a 99.4 box and not a 99.4A box. So, let's see, I can actually determine the manufacturing date of this particular item right here. It looks like it was made in the 48th week of 1982 piece of history so let's take this drive take a look at it looks like it's a standard Texas Instruments one PHP 1250 and that will be replacing this one which is actually an IBM if you can see that so, <clears throat> I determined from trial and error that it takes exactly five screws to get the disk drive out of the PEB. So this one should go a whole lot quicker. Alright, looking down into my personal PEB, I have a Horizon RAM disk. I'm using a Core Comp 32K uh, memory expansion, and the rest are just standard... Uh, <clears throat> the rest are just standard TI. Uh, the disk controller is TI, the RS-232 is TI, and the flex cable is also TI. I got two screws there, two on the bottom and one in the back are the ones I'm going to be concerned with. Alright, here's a look at the one I just removed. Pretty fancy looking compared to this one. Um, I'm assuming that this one is a double sided double density but I don't know how to tell I didn't even know it was in my own PEB um, <clears throat> but I'm guessing this is where the problem is so I'm gonna swap them out and see how it goes from there okay I have reinstalled the PEB <clears throat> um, and we are ready to test this drive out so let's do it extended basic And I'm guessing this should auto load if I'm not mistaken. Looks like that's what it's doing. TOD Adventure Editor by John Banky. So, we've successfully swapped out a bad drive for a good drive, and we are functioning. Hope you all enjoyed, as I know I did. And if anybody wants to buy a corroded old floppy disk drive, feel free to let me know on my website, opry99er.com.